Right, good morning. Yes, it is actually morning. We've come to somewhere early. We've actually come here for rope drop. Uh, yes, we've actually come to a place called Watermouth Castle and Theme Park. Um, not so much of a theme park with like massive rides or anything like that. It does have a toboggan coaster if you class them as uh, coaster credits. It's got some snails, it's got a little boat ride. I only know literally a couple of people that have ever been here before. It's in Devon, we did come and stay over last night in a place uh, called Ilfracoon, which is just up the road. We did spend the day there yesterday. The weather wasn't great, I didn't do a vlog, there wasn't really that much to film, although the carnival at the end was great. <laughs> Go and check out my Instagram, uh, Coaster Crazy Andy, if you want to see that. Anyway, we were just parked up here at the top, free car parking. I think it's about £18 to get in. They did recommend that I should book online, uh, however, there's not that many people here, so uh, I think we'd be all right. But look at the views here, it's absolutely stunning. They've got like this bit of a harbour here behind me and yes, they allow dogs. So I think when they reopened after everything over the past few years, um, the new general park manager was like, oh yeah, we can now allow dogs. So uh, we've come here and she's, she's there, down there somewhere. So we've come, yeah, Watermouth Castle. And theme park, I don't know much about it. I think I only know, like I said, a couple of people that have been here before. Um, there's like a castle, there's uh, gardens, there's a couple of rides, yeah. And it's one of the last remaining theme parks in the country that I need to get on. Or come and visit, should I say. So yeah, welcome to Watermouth Castle and Family Theme Park. And uh, like I said, there was a carnival last night in Ilfracombe and they actually took part in that, so I tagged them on it. It was quite funny, actually. It was really good. So I said, dogs are allowed here, but there's certain areas of um, the grounds that dogs are not allowed in. Oh, yeah, oh, look at that. Waterworth Castle, Walter B. Bassett, Naval Lieutenant, Engineer of the Vienna Ferris Wheel. Cool. Is this, yeah, it's a bit like Black Gang Chime where they've got a load of quirky stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it costs 18 pounds each to get in, so for 36 pounds for two people, you can't really complain about that. Yeah, there's just it's just a museum, really, with like loads of really random stuff in here. That's really weird. <laughs> And you got a cabinet here with loads of old tin toys and Star Wars robots. Yeah, they're giving you a got given a wristband. I don't know what the wristband's for. I mean, you pay to get in, so. <laughs> oh, more dogs in here. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, it's it's weird. It's, I don't I, I don't really get it to be honest. But yeah, it's something different. I've been wanting to do for a while. It's not go to the same places all the time and come to somewhere different like this. Get yourselves out and explore different things. So yeah, <laughs> dog friendly theme parks. That's what I might call the uh, the title of the video. Oh yeah, there's a part, I think it's the, oh there's toilets just here, there's um, oh you need to go, right, okay, I'll, uh, I'll see you in a second. Yeah, stuffed animals up there, yeah, it's a very quirky place is this. Um, Again, it's a bit like if you've ever been to to Wookie Hole. What for? Slot machines? Slotties! I want to see, I want to see the peep show. She wants to see the... No, we don't... You don't want to see the... There's a peep show thing there. One of, one of these, look. Where you put in the, the flicker picture and you can... A fiver. A fiver. Oh, God, I'll get my money out again. Oh, it stopped! <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. That was a huge model railway in here. Does it work? Or? She's mad for it. Yeah, the peep show wasn't working. Well, it was, but when I turned the camera on, it didn't. Oh, he's got to put money in it. Where's the tr where's the trains at? Oh, there's a fairground. Drive your own train. There's a little Percy down here. Oh, oh yeah, sensors. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Yeah, you can drive your own train, put money in it. Cool. Yeah, there's just all loads of random stuff in here. There's a video in about these, or a lot of pictures, where they just kill babies because they said you never have to clean them. Oh. But of course you did. Uh, yeah, there's like trains in here, there's uh, what's in there? Washing, oh, hoovers, old vacuum cleaners. Don't get this at Alton Towers, do you? V vacuum cleaners. <laughs> That's weird. God, there's a giant animatronic in here. I mean, it's behind glass, but yeah, you press the button. You can't really see it. There's a button there if you press it. Yeah. Oh, where's the dungeon? Okay. Oh, it does say no dogs at this bit. Oh, there we are, yeah. So, yeah, like Lisa going, I'm waiting with Tilly. It does say no dogs allowed, it's except guide dogs at this bit. But yeah, um, exit to this, exit this door to avoid the dungeons. Dogs this way only to exit, or this way for dungeons, attractions, including animatronics, arcade maze, cycle museum, and all things spooky. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you can come back though, that way. Right, so it's my turn to go and look in the dungeon. Yeah, by the by the uh, the looks of it, it's not very long. But yeah, what a weird, quirky place this is. Oh, there's a door to, does it go anywhere? Yeah. There's interactive buttons everywhere. <laughs> God. <laughs> it's just weird. Oh, and um, anyone that follows, um, you can't really see in there, there's like some gnomes digging. Anyone that follows uh, Theme Park Crazy, the American YouTube channel, can't really see much in there either. Um, he did a video about sub, sub kind of animatronic phobia or something about animatronics that are underwater. There's a thing here that is actually featured on that, on that show. Oh God, on his um, on his vlog. Oh my God, it's so creepy in here. So yeah, it's like a weird green thing. So I was going to try and find that. But yeah, come on, like it's it's nice to come and see different things, isn't it? And I know I haven't been to any major theme parks for a while, um, but hopefully we will be doing something. Is this the exit? Oh, that's it. Is that it? Oh, there's a penny arcade in here. No penny arcade. Mind your head. The haunted vault for reasons easily frightened walk through 
the door, do not look left. Do not look left. Why, wow, what's left? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> I can't see anything. The spooky dungeon. All right, this is the mighty Mortimer Fountain Show. I've heard quite a lot about this. This is quite famous. I think this is what the uh, the actual place is famous for, really. Look at this. Oh, Tilly's not so keen. Is that it? Oh, oh no, oh, oh. Oh, there's a Lancaster bomber coming down. It's like a World War II section. Oh, it's 15 minutes long. was unique wasn't it the uh, fountain shop but yeah this place is so quirky we've not even seen a quarter of it yet look how pretty it is in here like this courtyard and you've got some old vintage coin operated rides and yeah it's just really really nice here really nice family atmosphere um looking out for the really unique quirky stuff to film Cream teas as well. Oh yeah, we had cream tea yesterday at uh, Devon's most ra top rated cream tea place. It was all right, yeah. You got like two scones, a massive pot of cream and a massive pot of jam and not much room to put anything on your plate because the plates were too small. But yeah, we've had a good time. There was a little fun fair down in Ilfracombe as well. So I went on the, uh, the Ferris wheel. I up with her. <laughs> oh, she's waiting for me, is she? Look at this here, all these. Yeah, what a lovely place. Really, really nice. I, just, I think it's amazing to check out something new. Have to get up here, Gnome Land and Adventure Land, and yeah, some rides and yeah, very nice. Right, so here's the map. Uh, this is where we came in, and the dungeons and the little gardens and stuff. We've literally walked all the way down this path so far. That's all we've seen is the castle and this path here, which has got all loads of these random animatronics. There's a gnome climbing up and down a tree there, abseiling, and we've got all of that to see yet. So, um, yeah, it's the thing, I thought I can't remember what it was called, it's like the, a gonk or a nonk or something. There's a weird thing somewhere and it comes out of water. Is this it here? Oh, here, yeah, it's here. That was a crocodile. Uh, how do you get it to work? It's not doing out. Is that the thing? I think it's a different one. It's like a little weird gnome thing. Somewhere. 
Oh, she's, she's over there. Oh, wow, look at it here. This is really cool. I think we might be here a while, actually. But yeah, like I said we were supposed to come, well, I was planning on coming yesterday, but because uh, the park were participating in the uh, carnival, um, they closed at three o'clock yesterday. And by the time we actually got to Ilfracombe, it was like half 12 or something. Yeah, it was. Oh, she wants some water. Oh, well, yeah. So have a good day here. Yeah, it's really nice here. I'm actually quite enjoying this, to be honest. I've just taken my little jacket off because it's quite, it's quite humid now. We've found this. What was it called? The music barrel. You just play it left to right. Oh. So listen. What's mine do? No. Let's do it all. Here we go again. I feel like I'm back at Eftelin. Actually, this feels like Eftelin as well in a way, but yeah, you got Longus Necker, so what were you calling at, um, at Eftelin? Although this one looks a lot older, so I don't really know the history of that to be honest. But yeah, it's really quirky here. There's just all sorts of weird, random things to see and do, like Longus Neckus. I think it's called Longus Neckus, I don't really know. <laughs> what is that? There, look. That's cool. Yeah, it's really, really random here. Spinning seats. Have a, have a, take a pew. Like a pew in the spinning seat. And you got, uh, what was this called? Camera Obscura? Camera Obscura. <laughs> it's just like loads of ob obstacle illusions and... That's what I said. Obstacle illusions. Oh, there's a button here. Oh, I know what it is. Yeah, it's, you can't really, the camera's not picking it up, but there's um, a tele periscope and you can see outside. Yeah, it's not really picking it up really, but you can turn the camera around. Yeah, like this. So it's a periscope. Let's go up there somewhere. It's one of them periscopes, you turn a camera or something on the, there we are. Yeah, you turn that and you can see 360 around. Got a slide here. I'm not going down it because I don't think I'll fit on it, but I'll send the GoPro down. Really? <laughs> did, it, did it work? On Tilly. <laughs> <laughs> Come on then. It's broken. Broken. Are you broken? Come on. Come on. Hey. <laughs> Come on. That's it. Woohoo. <laughs> like, yeah. Why bring your kids when you can bring your dog? Oh, that's it. It's a dead end now. <laughs> Was it fun? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, I'm on a ride on my own. It's the Squirting Seals ride. Hashtag it's a family channel. Um, yeah, I found out that um, 
some of the rides open at half 11 and then is, was this one of the half 11 rides yeah. and then some of the other rides open at half 12 ah! <laughs> half 12 um unfortunately i won't be able to get on the toboggan that's here um yeah when they sent me the message the other day on instagram they did say that they advised to pre-book and i didn't pre-book and now i yeah, and, then, and now I can't go on the toboggan. And apparently the guy here, the operator said, it does get like that in the summertime, where, pe where, where people just turn up and then realise that you need to book to go on the toboggan. Um, unfortunately, there's quite a few people down there complaining and they're not happy, but never mind. If we come back again, I'll remember to pre-book it. <laughs> but yeah, there's a couple of little rides here we can go on. There's this, there's like a teacups, there's a little boat ride and yeah, it's all right. Huh? I'll stay on. Yeah, I'll go again. I'll go again. Might as well. Oh, oh no! <laughs> yeah, so there's a few rides here. I mean, it's a really nice park. I mean, it's really well landscaped and very quirky, very unique. And it's something a bit different. Yes, I'm on a kid's ride, but never mind. You know, there's, there's not much actually here to go on. Uh, like I said, they've got the snails. There's a spinning teacup ride just there behind me. There's a little boat ride. Um, there's some snails. The was the toboggan, but unfortunately we can't get on that now. Um, I mean, if we do come again in the future, we probably will at some point uh, next year. Uh, we'll probably hire a camper van again and then we'll go down all the way. I really won't go to Land's <laughs> really won't go like down to Land's End. Uh, Flambards again because they allow dogs and then we'll probably come oh we'll do um, the Milky Way and then we'll probably come back here again uh, next year and I'll make sure I'll book it this time. But yeah, it's alright here. Yeah? <laughs> Bit of theming as well. Oh, and squirting seals. Brilliant. <laughs> Right, here we go on the spinning, spinning pots. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Woo! Oh, oh! <laughs> It's the, spinny, it's the spinniest ride I've ever been on. Oh my god. Well, there's the bolt ride over there. But yeah, it's got like theming and audio and everything. It's brilliant here. Right, we're going on the big river ride now, and yeah, there's some good little attractions here. I mean, very underrated, and like I said, not a lot of people know about this place. I only sort of knew about it because I think I saw Sean Theme Park Worldwide came here, and I'm like, I really need to check it out. I mean, I sort of knew this was here, but obviously, like I said, we couldn't come anyway because we, we had the dog, and then obviously they now allow dogs, and I can see why they now allow dogs. It's just nice, it's just like a, a garden and like things to walk around. It's it's really cool, like the theming's brilliant in here actually. It's sort of cross between a Gulliver's Park and, and say like Black Gan Chine. Yeah, it's it's really nice here. So you got the boat ride, you can see three yeah, I'll go on there, yeah. Yeah, I'm going on, yeah. Yeah. Go over. <laughs> Has he got a sink? Hey, hold on. <laughs> yeah, I'm going on. Cheers. Here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> Wetter than Valhalla. <laughs> All right, he said try and lean forward. It, the, the, the whole boat is like dripping wet. It's actually quite a nice day today as well. Again, it did nothing but rain all day yesterday. I'm getting fed up with this weather now. But yeah, it's nice, nice little boat ride. It's really well presented. It's well themed. 
obviously they, they don't mind on on ride filming i didn't even ask like so they're not bothered about that <laughs> oh god ah no oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh dear oh. <laughs> Oh god! Oh man! I didn't even see that. <laughs> oh, oh yeah! And if you haven't bought any already, go and buy some merch. Um, they make Paul a broomhead. He bought a hoodie and a t-shirt. Just, just, well, oh. <laughs> just be aware. If you do order a size that you think you are that size, they, they are a bit on the bigger side. This is a. A, a bigger than an XL, and it, it's, it's it's way too big for me. But yeah, get some merch because it's really nice. Oh god, I'm soaking like. Oh god, my whole arms. I'm dri Oh, there's another water pipe here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh what the. Does that turn, that better turn off. Does that turn off? I don't think that turns off, does it? Oh, the sensors here, the sensors. The sensors, turn off, turn off, no! <laughs> ah, oh no! Oh, he's laughing at me. Oh my God. Yeah, Lisa didn't, wouldn't like coming on here. She said that set me on first. It's like a, chi it's like a child swap having a dog, innit? Oh, it's a really nice ride though. I'm a bit gutted about the toboggan if I'm honest though. I, uh, like what sort of rides do you know that you have to pre-book before you got before you turn up? Never heard anything like it. Well the audio's a bit duff on that. <laughs> well yeah, you got some snails here as well. Yeah, there's some I thought there were sensors. There must be in the trees somewhere, but that was brilliant that. We're back round to where the station is. Come out and see new stuff. Cause you never know what you gotta find. I think it's brilliant here, really good. Yeah, that was it, nice little ride that. Although I'm absolutely soaking wet now. Awesome. Right. Uh, uh, I'm not even joking when I say this, it's probably one of the hilliest parks I've ever been to. Oh, well. Uh, uh, Lego Land and Metlock Bath as well, Gulliver's. But yeah, it's really, it's really steep here. Oh. So yeah, toboggan ride. Oh, it's closed apparently. Requires online booking. So we haven't even seen that. Uh, snails ride. Oh, there's the snails. Snails ride. You've got a couple of things up here as well. Is it even working? Are there snails ride? I don't know. Some of the rides said half, I think this was that one of the half 12 rides. Is it half 12? Sorry? Is it open? We're open? Oh, we're open. Yeah, I said some of the rides stated it was open and it, oh, the benches are all wet. Saying that um, half 12, some of the rides. Oh, this way. Are dogs allowed on this one? They're not for it. Oh, rubbish. Ah, oh, it's like being back at Joyland. Or Great Yarmouth. Or Weymouth. I have to take turns on this one. Yeah. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Ring that bell. Hey, here we go. Oh. What are the water balloons for? Oh, so I thought you got to throw them at me then. <laughs> There's a bucket full of water balloons. I've now been on every snails ride in the UK. See, a lot of people wouldn't even know this was here. Awesome, yeah, what a, what a unique park. Very different. Well, I was saying that, I think Lisa said it reminded her of a park that we've been to before as well. Oh, um, Port Merion. It's a bit like that, Port Merion in Wales, that it's like built into a, a valley. Um, 
Yeah, we've been to a few places like this, to be honest. Culver's, Matlock, Bloodbath is another one. Look at the view, though, with the sea over there. I mean, further investments to this place. I don't even. I, I wouldn't know what they could get, really, to be honest. Maybe some sort of kids' drop tower or something would be pretty cool. I don't think they could get a coaster in here. But there's like woodland lodges up there as well. Oh, there's a dark ride section. Them back, watch themselves back now. They've subscribed. Yeah, that was actually a really good ride, though. Like I said, I've now actually done every snails ride of this type in the UK. So you've got two at Great Yarmouth. Um, you've got Joy, the one at Joyland. You've got the one at the Pleasure Beach. You've got one in Weymouth on the on the actual beach itself. And you got this one here as well. It's really good. That snail trail ride, the little dark ride section at the end as well. That's yeah, really good. Yeah. So the toboggan's down here, and um, yeah, it says it's closed. So I don't know if that's weather to permitting or because it's been pre-booked. But I can't actually see anyone down there. We'll go and have a look anyway. Um, and I don't think we've actually missed that much out to be honest uh, and obviously we'll just start heading back towards uh, the entrance and exit now um, because we've got like a three and a half hour journey back home and um, yeah I've, I've actually really enjoyed it here today it's a really nice little park very family orientated yes they allow the dogs now um, but yeah get yourselves out here come and check out something that's new and they got another snails ride as well awesome All right, so here's the toboggan. It is actually on. I, I didn't think it was running as I walked up here. Because, like I said, some of the rides don't open until half 12, which it still isn't half 12 yet. Um, but, yeah, I can't go on the toboggan. It's, it's um, yeah, well, it says it's closed for a start. So, yeah, it's not, yeah, it's not running yet. Must be half 12 when it opens up. But you've got a pre-bucket, which is ridiculous. I mean, it goes up here. There's the lift hill and it just comes down the side of the, the hill here. And uh, yeah, unfortunately we can't get on it. We've even got a trommel in here. There's some really pretty parts to this park. Um, we're just discovering stuff all the time. We're actually heading back the way we came. There is like an animatronic show up there that starts every hour, uh, which started, what, 10 minutes ago? So I'm not really bothered about that. But yeah, you've got the trommel inside that building there, and then you come down these stairs, and you've got what? I can only think of is jumping fountains, but they're not working. Obviously, you've seen the frogs at Alton Towers or the ones at Epcot as well. And the jump from all these different pools, but it's, it's not working. Um, there's also a section down there that's blocked off and you've got all like this riverbed and the little waterfalls. And yeah, it's such a beautiful little park it really is all the vintage rides up there i didn't even show you those i don't even think i did show you those at all i'm just gonna walk back up this bit here quickly but yeah they've got some vintage rides for kids i showed you there's some like little planes around there uh, but you've got a little carousel and some steam well like the yachts like car steam yachts just over there adults can't go on those we just did the maze up at the top as well um didn't film that but uh, yeah, it's such a beautiful park. 
It really is, and it's somewhere that not a lot of people even know about this place. I even messaged Martin and Charlotte and said uh, uh, about that. No, it wasn't. It was someone else a message, and they said, oh, I've never heard of it. And I don't think a lot of people have heard of this place. Just uh, watch where you're walking. Right, that's us pretty much done here at uh, Watermouth Theme Park, or oh, Watermouth Castle and Theme Park. I think that's a full title, pretty sure of it. <laughs> but yeah, the last thing for us to do is the gift shop. Yeah, we've had a well good day today. Uh, the time is currently, um, it's half one. So you don't need a full day here. Uh, obviously, if you've got kids, then... Slow. Yeah, then you, you will probably need a full day here. Unbelievable as well, we've just met three sheep who's dogs the same as Tilly, different, no, well, it's the same breed, but they look completely different yeah. to Tilly. And there was a Tilly. There was a Tilly, there was one called Tilly. But um, yeah, so, just bear in mind, dogs are allowed. Dog they got dog shoes? Yeah. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's just all your generic stuff in it. So what is it called? It's just called Watermouth Castle, I think. Yeah, they do fudge, homemade fudges in here as well. But yeah, what a really nice park. It's a beautiful landscape gardens. There's a few rides you can go on. There's a couple of rides for the kids. Just bear in mind, if you do want to do the toboggan, you need to book online before you come. Oh, look at this fudge here, Lotus Disco. Cookies and crisps. Was this the same? Were they doing out this last night? I think it was the same, yeah. I think it was when we watched the carnival last night. A guy came round giving out. And then we um, couldn't find the stall. Yeah, we couldn't find the stall, but I think it's this because that's what I had the Where lotus. I might get some of that lotus biscoff. Um, it was delicious, actually. So, oh no, or was it that one? No, you had the. Was it the lo yeah. uh, lotus biscoff? So I might, I might get a piece of that because it was delicious. Yeah. So homemade fudge, uh, two pound eighty per hundred gram. Yeah, I've got to get some Lotus Biscoff. Yummy. Yeah, uh, they've also got a small cafeteria in here as well, doing food. They do naked fries, fish goujons, chicken goujons, hot dogs, uh, and a classic American hot dog with cakes, pastries, and pasties. Yummy. Right, there you go, we're now back at the uh, the entrance in the car park. As you can see, it's pretty full, it goes all the way around that corner there and behind me as well. We've had an amazing day today, really, really good and it just shows that you don't have to have massive thrill rides to have a good day out at a theme park. Yeah, there you go, there was a Watermouth Castle and family theme park and we really enjoyed it. Tilly really enjoyed it. Why are you crying? She's crying for, for mummy because she's gone back into the toilet now. Um, yeah, we've, we've really enjoyed it. Yeah, they've got a, a good selection of little rides, family rides, the toboggan. There's a bit of an issue there with the toboggan. What they should do is, is scrap the online booking form for it, open it up when the park opens and just charge a couple of quid for it. Like most places do, three pound a ride or four, five pound for two rides. Uh, which is what they should do. They uh, should scrap the uh, the uh, online booking fee for that. But uh, yeah, there you go. Don't forget to uh, comment, like, and subscribe. It's there on the side of the screen. Give the video a massive thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to click the notific notification bell for next time I upload another video. Sorry, I couldn't get my words out then. But yeah, I've really enjoyed it today. It's a beautiful little park, loads of landscape gardens. You can bring the whiny little dogs if you want to. She's down there. But uh, yeah, uh, that's it for now. Next weekend, I'm not sure what I'm doing. Like I said, it's, uh, it was actually my nephew's 19th birthday today. So next weekend, we might, I might take him away somewhere. I don't really know. I haven't planned anything yet. Um, but you'll, you'll have to wait and see. But there, there you go from uh, Watermouth Castle here in Devon. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.